Today, I've got a $60 Child's Collectibles damaged Funko Pop Mystery Box. And as a little appetizer, I've got this $15 Child's Collectible Mystery Box. So we'll start with this $15 one first, just to kind of wet the whistle. You know, just get things going before we jump into this bigger $60 box. So this $50 box, this was purchased, or I should say, it was shipped back on June 15th, 2020. And they were releasing these like three, four times a month for a while. And uh, I haven't seen these for a couple weeks now. Possibly I just missed them. But I haven't actually seen this for a while now. Because I was buying them, seemed like, at least once a week for quite a while. If not twice a week. And they always come in their own little box. This is box number 10. They always sell like, what, like two, three hundred of them. The majority of them will just be Child's Collectibles exclusive. Pretty much you have like a 1% chance of getting out anything halfway decent. Most people, you'll get like just a common Child's Collectible Funko Pop. You ready? Find out which one I got. It is. Any good? Nah. Just the, another one. Vegeta, Gallic Gun, Child's Collectibles exclusive. Let's see how much this, I think it's worth like what, $13? I've got this thing how many times now? I don't even know. Pretty soon I'll start using these as like a fire kindling just to get fire started. 13 bucks still. Because nobody's buying these. I I just have these things uh, selling locally to me at a couple of my outlets where I sell. And yeah, they're just sitting. Nobody's buying them. Nobody wants them. So here we go with the $6 box. So this was actually... There is a screw in this box. A little different. So this was a $60 box. It was put for sale... It shipped out, I should say, it shipped out back on June 18th. So I've had it now for, you know, a while. And uh, I actually had a total of two of these. It was one per customer. I got one, my wife got one. This is actually my wife's box, but of course, you know, one per customer. And uh, mine that I ordered under my name, it was actually it was pretty decent. I got, I think, like over double what I paid in value. I actually made money on my box. So for damaged mystery box to get out like twice and value what you paid, that's pretty freaking good. Can't complain about that. And every single one comes in their own box. And uh, these are actually really nice shipping boxes too. I actually save all these boxes and I use these to ship items that I sell on eBay. I don't use these to ship Funko Pops in. I use them for other like small stuff. There's always something small that needs shipped that I sell on eBay. A lot of these pops, I should say, I shouldn't say a lot. Some of these pops will be sold on eBay. There'll be a direct link down below to my eBay store. Some of these pops will be for sale. Some won't. Some I sell locally because it just, it makes more sense because they're not worth much. I'm not going to list them online and when I can sell them locally and actually get more for them. Here we go. First one. Any good? Oh, okay, not bad. I don't know how many have these I have now. I have quite a few. This is the bronze hobby stock exclusive. Uh, originally, this was a uh, foot locker, I think, right? Uh, it has a small crease right here on top, but very minimal. I mean, that's not even like excessive damage. It's just like a small little crease. This thing was coming in like at 30 bucks or so at one point. It's booking out at uh, $27 right now. Let me go ahead and let me keep a running total of uh, all six of these pops so we can see at the very end you know how well I did or how bad I did. So first one, 27 bucks. That's not bad. I'll take that. That one is very sellable. That one will sell pretty quickly too. A lot of Jordan fans out there. I'm a Jordan fan. Here we go. Next one, number two. Damaged Funko Pop Mystery Box Child's Collectibles. Any good? Ah, uh, J Balvin. Not the Chase, just the Common. I've had a bunch of these in mystery boxes. I've actually got the Chase out more than just the Common one. I still don't know who this J Balvin guy is. I, don't, I have no clue who this guy is. 
I've got this pop out probably four or five times now, maybe more than that, and I still don't know who this guy is. No clue. Has a little bit of damage around the back of it. Looks like actually like a fingernail damage. This has been for sale on this guy's website, as far as I know, for a long time now. It might be sold out now. Common ones were 20 bucks, Chase were 50, so common at 20 bucks. Now we're at $47. It's probably, honestly, it's probably still for sale. I know, I think it was Chrono Toys, or actually, it, it might have been Child's Collectibles. They were offering, if you bought the Common and the Chase, you can get it for like 50 bucks combined, I think it was, if you bought them both. It might have been Chalice. They were practically giving them to you for like what J Balvin website was charging for them. Maybe a little bit less, actually, if like you bundled them. Next one, number three. Any good? Hopefully it's awesome. Darna. This one actually used to be worth more than what it is now. I, ooh, that's got a nice crunchage right there. Oh, that's got a big crease. This is an overseas sticker from Big Boy Toys. Damage box. Pretty good damage on it. That'll hurt value. When I first got this out, I remember looking it up, it was worth like 50 bucks. I think it's probably gone way down since then. That's still worth $38, it says. I will go by full PPG value, even though I shouldn't, but I will. Like honestly, if this thing's worth 38 in this condition, it's probably like 20 bucks, maybe probably about 20 bucks in this condition. Probably about half price. I mean, that, that, that box has got some pretty good damage to it. So, I mean, still, right now we're at $85 for the first three pops. Next. Any good? Star Wars. Smuggler's Bounty. Imperial Death Trooper. That one's probably not very expensive. Any damage? It's got some, like, rubbing on the back of it right here. I'm not sure what that would what would cause that. It's a weird kind of a rubbing. But no real damage to it. Uh has like a small little crease right here on the front of it. I guess they can kind of call that damage. So this is worth a whole 10 bucks. So right now we're looking at a total of $95. Of course, that's you know taking full PPG value on the Funko app. That's not taking off any kind of value for damage. Full value 95. Honestly, you take off for damage. You probably take off at least thirty dollars. We're probably at honestly like sixty to sixty-five. We got two left. Here we go. Box number five. What we got? Is it awesome? We have Nightwing, DC Legion of Collectors, July of seventeen. I haven't seen this one for a long time. I'm not actually sure if it's even worth a whole lot. I don't think it is. I don't think this has really gone up in that much value. I don't think it has. Let's see, damage. It has like small like little like nicks in it and stuff, but I mean it's just it's it's common just wear and tear. You know, just from people just picking it up, touching it, collecting it, displaying it. Like all in all, it's like nine out of ten condition. Twelve bucks. So not very expensive, $12. So now we're looking at $107. We got one pop left. I think the biggest one we had was that really messed up Darna and then that Jordan Bronze. So I mean, nothing really big or anything. Here we go, last one. Hopefully this is something good. Is it awesome? Uh. I got this one out of the last one too, I think. All Might Weekend. I see box damage here on the side of it. It's got some creasing to it. Got some rippage here, some damage on the bottom. That's how much this thing's worth. So nothing really big in this box. I mean, nothing really too exciting. Say it's worth $29, okay. So total value of this box without damage is $136. Like this this one here, it's got a crease all down there, creases here, it has two rips here, crease all along there. I mean, if you took off damage for this box, I could almost probably take off, I bet you, 
probably 50 bucks in damage. So this box is probably worth maybe about $90 once you take off damage. So it's still actually worth more money than what I paid. It's probably at least like 30 more dollars than what I paid in value. So that's not bad, but I mean, it's nothing really too exciting now. So that's what I got in this child's collectible $60 mystery box. So I'll see you next time with some more mystery boxes. I'm out.